In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to turn text in Adobe Illustrator into shapes and a couple of reasons why you might want to do that. I'm going to start out by using my type tool and just typing in some letters here. We're going to go really basic. And right now, this is type. I can double click on it again. I could change it. I can use my selection tool to resize it some. I could also change the color and the font. Um, but beyond that, there's a lot of things I can't do. For example, if I wanted to make a cutout of some of these shapes and I use my Pathfinder panel to do that, it's not going to let me. Nothing's going to happen. And in fact, it's going to say that, that these aren't even paths. It doesn't consider those texts something that you can really uh, do much with. So we need to convert them into shapes before we can have more options. There are two ways to do this. The first way is by going to Object and Expand. Once you say OK, you'll notice that your text has now these outlines around it and different points outlining the path, and now they're considered shapes. Another way to do this, and I'm going back, you can now see it's back to text again. The other way is by going to Type and Create Outlines, and there's a keyboard shortcut for that as well. And again, when we select that, now our text has these dots around it, it has outlines, and they're considered shapes. By default, when you turn a block of text into uh, outlines, it's grouped. So each item is separate, but they're part of a group. To move them separately, you can go up to Object, Ungroup, and now each letter can be moved on its own. Since these are now shapes, all your other tools for adjusting shapes will now work. For example, you can use your direct, your direct selection tool to adjust different points if you wanted to for some reason. You can also use your pen tool to add or delete points if you wanted to for some reason. Although you probably don't want to do that without a good reason because type designers put a lot of time into creating type, um, but sometimes you might want to for a particular effect. There's some other stuff you can do with this as well. For example, you can give them gradients. And by default, all the letters that you select at once will get their own gradient, but while they're all selected, you can also use your gradient tool to give them a gradient altogether. You can also now use them to create paths um, with the Pathfinder window. So let's say we want to make kind of an, an outline here. We can select all of that. Using the Pathfinder window, we can use the exclude, and now we have a shape that excludes the text and just uses the space around it. Those are just a couple examples of ways that you can use letters once they've been converted into shapes in more ways than you can when it's just plain text. Also keep in mind that many um, fonts include symbols and glyphs and icons that you can use as type to create graphic elements beyond just letters.